Do you want to learn how to change the color of your Twitch name as well as those little badges next to it? Well, lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that both on your computer and on your mobile device. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a quick like on the video because that's just how YouTube works nowadays. Let's just jump right into it. First, we need to head over to Twitch. By the way, I've been streaming on Twitch for over four years. We play indie horror games as well as Nintendo games and any other kind of wacky games. So if that sounds good to you, feel free to check us out on Twitch. We stream Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But what we want to do when we get to Twitch, we'll go to the little chat right here. So we'll click on chat because we need to get to this little chat room just to show you guys what's up so we need to go over to this chat room let's just show you an example of what everything looks like so you can see right here after you realize that I'm not using dark mode because I'm using an incognito tab for this video I apologize that my name is actually like a nice green kind of light green goosebumpsy kind of color because obviously we're a goosebumps nerd and you can see that we got our nice little broadcaster badge we got our sub badge and we got our gifted sub badge. We're gonna be showing how to change all of this stuff and it's actually quite simple. So for the PC users, we'll go for that first. But if you just go down here next to where the send a message option is, you can see that there's a little chat identity bubble. Click on this little bubble right there and it'll give us a brand new menu, which I'm sure most of you probably have not seen before. This is the identity preview and this basically just shows you what your name is gonna look like on the channel. So right now we got our little broadcaster option, we got our subscriber badge, and we got our gifted sub badge. So below that, this is our global badge. So this is going to be the badge that appears on every single channel, just by default, unless you look underneath it and you customize it individually per each different channel. So if you wanted to have a different badge for each channel, so if you guys have like different streamers that you watch, then you could go down here and customize that right now. If we go to channel badges, it says these badges appear on Cody's channel. Your role and subscribers badge will always be shown. So right now we have the broadcaster because we are the creator for this channel. If you were a mod, you would have a sword here. If you had VIP, you would have a diamond here or whatever the Twitch streamer decided to set up for that. Below that, you have the subscriber badge, which shows I subscribe for tier three for 52 months because it's my channel and 52 months streaming on Twitch uh, is probably too much and I uh, definitely have put too much time into this but uh, here we are anyways below that you can see there's a hide badge flare option so if you don't want to show that you're a tier two or tier three simp then you can go ahead and just hit that and it will hide those little stars showing you and outing you as anything higher than a tier one sub but now you can see use custom badge for this channel and this is enabled and that just means that this badge Badge is going to be different than the default badge up here the global badge because anytime I chat in a new person stream or any other stream than mine I'm gonna have this little snowflake but since I have this use custom badge for my channel or this channel specifically you can use this for any channel then I'm going to go and pick a new one so instead of using the snowflake I could use prime gaming and have the crown or you can have you know whatever other badges you have offered here right now I got a 25 gift subs badge that's the one I'm gonna go with because I like the way it looks so that's how to do all of your badges but if you look below it you got your global name color so just by default you can pick any of these given colors right here however if you have twitch prime then you can go ahead and actually put in any color that you want and a quick shill for twitch prime obviously you get two-day free shipping on Amazon you get a free $5 sub every single month to your favorite streamer and then you also get access to prime videos so you can watch movies, TV shows, and all that stuff, which is why I personally have Twitch Prime, and I think it's a huge bang for your buck, so I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to check that out, but I don't want to push that in you guys. I just think it's a great value, especially if you're going to spend $5 a month anyways on a sub. So if you guys do have Twitch Prime, then we have this option to click More Colors, and that'll bring us to our Twitch settings under Prime Gaming. And now you can notice here that you actually can pick out whatever shade color you want instead of just those, you know, generic default options. So it'll show you a preview on on light mode which is disgusting obviously you want dark mode so I think this looks really nice that is a nice color maybe a little bit brighter oh yeah that's the one and since we're twitch prime we're able to do that and you can see that the hex color code right here changes when we go ahead and drag it so if you know exactly which hex color code then you can just go in here and type it out and then we'll just hit confirm color and so this is only because we're twitch prime if you don't have twitch prime then you're not gonna have the option to pick whatever shade that you want but let's go back and make sure that this worked so now that you can see that my name has changed to that nice little cyan blue which happens to be one of my favorite colors for all my mobile users out there you can go into a chrome tab hit desktop mode and basically repeat the process you just saw here or if you're lazy like myself then this option is going to be basically the only option for you just go into the chat and type slash color and then space and then whatever color so whatever colors the basic colors that we saw uh, that we chose for the non priming users then you can just type that so like if we want to change it to red we'll do slash color space red I'll hit enter 
it says your color has been changed. So now if we give it a couple minutes, it'll change red. But for the purposes of this video, we already know it's gonna change red eventually. Like that, it actually only took what? Like 30 seconds maybe? If you have Twitch Prime, you can also do slash color space and then type pound sign, hashtag, depends if you're Gen Z or not. And then you type in your little hex code. So that hex code for the Goosebumps green, I'm just gonna copy and paste it is pound and then those numbers and letters. So I'm gonna do that because I have Prime. And you could, like I said, you do this in chat. So you do this through your phone or your PC. It doesn't really matter, but this is gonna be the best way to do it for your phone. So it says your color has been changed. We'll give it, you know, 30 seconds. We'll see, you know, five seconds. Has it changed? Not yet. We'll give it a we'll give it another minute so just give it a minute i'll speed this video up and now you can see after like 45 seconds i think i had to wait that now we have our goosebump screen back and we were able to do that through the chat which means you can do it through your phone because honestly you just have to type in slash color space and then either the normal color if you don't have prime or the hex code color if you do have prime but i hope this video helped this channel is all about helping brand new streamers just like you or twitch viewers so check out the rest of the videos on the channel we're almost coming up on 15,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane i just want to give a big shout out to all my patrons helping me buy an extra cup of coffee this week to help make these videos to help you guys out appreciate you guys if you guys have any questions ask me live on twitch i love to answer them and i'll see you in the next video